Hey guys and welcome back to Bob's Mod Factorio. Let's get our stone hooked up to this now. So that we can be done and creating life. Nah. So we can be creating trains. There we go. And pull this along. I'm so glad that I've got these getting made in screeds. Absolute bloody screeds. Uh, automatic rail. Now I need signals. Alright. There we go. And shove you there, shove you there. And the rest of that's powered. Perfect. Now as soon as the stone starts ploughing along, we'll have a ton of uh, rail getting made. Look at it. It's fantastic. Right, so now we've got Lil. Lil? <laughs> Lil. Now we've got rail getting made. All we need is to start going up and getting ourselves some bauxite. Ah, I'm so glad we actually managed to find some bauxite. Has there been any more found? No, not yet. That is something else. A stone, copper and coal. Some bloody decent... Uh, Deposits that we've got. That bauxite deposit's not great. But we need it to get our modules, so... It's not like we can research our modules and then go and get the bauxite. And we can't place signals just yet until the... Until it's all done. Where do I want my station? I kind of fancy having my station, like, right here. Because this gives me plenty of room and I can have just belts coming down and feeding onto the... And feeding onto everything. I could even... Right, and bear with me here. I could even do a Bentham style sorting system. Where I've just got loads of belts that just feed into the right locations. And just have the sorting system sort out anything that comes off the trains. Instead of using robots to do it. I'll have to think about that one. Whether I can be bothered with that. Uh, I should also check, actually, I'm going to check the ratios on the boilers. So I've got Mark II boilers and Mark II steam engines right now. So it's a 3 to 4 ratio, I should have 10 boilers and 13 engines again. Mark II, Mark II, I should have 10 boilers and 13 engines. Uh, I don't think that's right. Because I've got 15 engines. And oh no, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? I may have slightly more boilers though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I've got ten and fifteen. They seem to be working fine, but I'm guessing that when they when they hit max, it's going to be. I'm guessing that it's ten and. 10 and 13 when it's actually working at max speed. Ah. Uh, okay. What have we got right now? Have we got any better boilers or anything? We do have the Mark 3, but I need to make Envarum Brass. And that ain't something I'm making right now. Right, we've got enough rail. So, let's take the 300 straight rail, the 50 curved. Let's go at it. I don't know, there's something I just prefer about doing track myself. Uh, oops, shift. Okay, apparently we're going down here. Right, let's grab... 
a curve drill to the shimmy. Hmm, I mean, ugh. I should probably work my way onto a diamond pickaxe as soon as I can. Well, I should get gem. I should get gem manufacturer done. Manufacturing done. Um, that way I can make these. I can lay the rail pretty, pretty damn quick. And it means that any trees that get in my way will be wrecked pretty damn quick. Are you fucking for real? I suppose that's another good thing about having the uh, the landfill mod installed. <laughs> uh, junk like that. Junk like that, that would normally have to completely move a full freaking train line for to fill in. There you go. Whereas now it's just long TTD, whereas if you come across a, a piece of water, you can just fill it in. And more importantly, if you come across a piece of water, you can... Sorry, tin, but the railroad stops for nothing. Right. Ah! Shoot with trees! And before you say it, oh, Cedro, if you just had Farl, then it'd be able to just bash down the trees or whatever the fuck it does. And I was like, yeah, well, great. Like, oh, fucking good for Farl. Something, something automated rail laying is what it stands for. Not something, something, just something. I can't remember what the F is. Oh, I've got the, the little blueprint string thing in the top left. I thought that didn't work. Hmm. Must have, it must have had an update that I didn't realise. I'm going to, I'm going to nip onto my other game as well and get some, when I'm actually into construction of robots and get some blueprint strings. Actually, I'll probably do that before recording the next one. I'll nip onto my other save game and get some blueprint strings from some of the, the builds that I've done. Actually, is there any builds that I kinda like from that other one? The robot one is outdated now because it's been... The game has been updated to have extra intermediate steps. The... I've already basically made some of the other ones that I would want to use. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know if there's any builds. Motherfucker. How close I got. Alright. Uh, the good thing about having this though is that I can... Where the fuck's my car? I can drop my car down. Shove some coal on it and start heading down the, the track that I just blasted out. Although there will always be a couple of trees. <laughs> I didn't quite get. There's actually a mod for making your car go in cardinal directions easier. Whoa, how I fucking missed all those trees, I will never know. Oh, no, I'm hitting every fucking tree. There we go. Need to go and grab some more. I'll just crash into my power pole. Don't mind me, just wrecking the fucking base. There we go. Sorted. Right. You know what I should just get instead? Got one of these. 20 engines. Um, I'm gonna need one. So, 
you go there, I want to ask you to make me regular engines. Well, we're shoving a ton of that. And I need 20, so what's that? 40 iron pipe. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And that's how you limit it, you use the iron pipe. Alright, and then I'll nip back up there and start finishing off making. And then we'll be able to get our... Uh, we'll be able to get our box site brought to the... I love that noise when it when there's like no fuel in it. I love how we made a we fucking happened to make a car that runs off a of fucking coal. How ludicrous is that? Alright. Obviously it can also run off a of liquid fuel and stuff like that. I don't think I've got advanced fuel uh advanced uh, oil stuff so that I can make oil out of coal. I don't think I've got that yet. I was just thinking there, like, oh, I could, I could crack down my coal to make uh, more oil because we're having oil issues at the moment. But it's like, well, I don't think we've got. Yeah, uh, I don't think we even have the technology to do that. All right. There we go. Now what I need is a couple of mining drills. Well, we don't even need that many. Uh, hey, we don't even need that many freaking hujima watsits. Second, what do I need? I obviously can't get that yet, but I've got that to two. I need productivity modules to two. Uh, we don't even need that much uh, or that many pieces of bauxite. We just need it. Alright. I used to go there, and you're dead. There we go, I think before I start doing any more uh, rail laying stuff, I'll be getting my diamond pickaxe sorted. Just fuck this rail laying malarkey. Like I said, I wouldn't mind it if I could just like right click and pick up rail. Excuse me? There we go. My car just wasn't close enough. There we are. I think it was like one one diamond pickaxe done me the entire the entirety of my last campaign. So I reckon we'll be alright for uh If we just, like, rush a diamond pickaxe again. Although, what is it? It uses light oil to make them as well, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe we'll have a couple of issues with that. Alright. Bloody trees. Always in a way. At least we've kind of got power running up here as well. Which is pretty damn awesome. Also need to... I don't know, I'll need to do some uh, some shotgun upgrades. So I can actually blow my way through these trees instead of having to freaking run through them. Through trees. That's the only reason why I've got so much raw wood in my inventory is because my shotgun's crap and I can't make uh, 
I can't blow the trees up efficiently enough. I need to chop them down like a plebeian. No. <laughs> that tree just survived by the skin of its teeth. It's gonna eat its little tree teeth. Ready you. There we go. Alright. There we are. And we should be able to make it back to the drop off without much of an issue. Oh, one too far. This will be like the last one, yeah. <laughs> Right, now I need to go and check to see if my engines are made, and then I can make my train. Uh, all shall be well. And we've got 12 right now. Still making them. I don't know if it just filled up, I should have output them to a box. Alright, let's grab all of you. Look at this fucking crap that I've got in my inventory. I'm going to shove this piece of iron on in there. Alright, so we'll be driving up there and... Let's come... Let's do a full circle here. There we are. And pull that up there. Sorted. Okay, I'll need to be like that. Is that big enough for a train? Oh, it should be. I don't see why not. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I misunder I underestimated what I was gonna need for my station, my drop off station. Cause this doesn't seem fantastic. Huh. Eh, whatever. We'll see. We'll see if it works out. I do some of that, but I need brass. Brass is just tin and copper, is it not? Balls materials. Ah, it's copper and zinc, so I need to make zinc, which is sulfuric acid. I can't be fucked with that. I can't be fucked doing that right now. Fucking zinc. Christ. Uh, let's go and drop the quartz down here into the thing with the silicon. I think I use that, don't you? Yeah. Of course you do. Right. I can do all that here and have the zinc on it. I can't remember what zinc's used for entirely, but. Yeah. Is there a reason our productivity modules aren't really researching? Nope, they're, they are researching, there's plenty of things. That's fine. Oh yes, I was going to go and collect my engines, wasn't I? Alright, that's my 20 engines. So now I can make myself a diesel locomotive. I had some blue circuit boards. Meow. I was like getting pushed around. Bum bum bump.
All right, what else do I need? I need efficiency module twos as well. And wow, okay. I apparently didn't have this set up, which is annoying. Right, but that's going to have to do us for this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.